So looking forward to Rangers then, what kind of game is that going to be? Uh, a massive game. You know, obviously it's the next game, but also they're they're a big club, and you know, probably be close to a sellout. So, you know, lads are lads are buzzing for it. Obviously, coming off the back of the Celtic game as well, with a great comeback. So, you know, we're looking forward to it. Neil was talking about um, before how Rangers are probably not as big a fear as they used to be. I mean, is that the same case for you? Do you feel more confident going into a Rangers game than maybe previously? Um, <laughs> I don't know. You know. Since I've been up in Scotland, they've kind of been at the same sort of level. So uh, for me, they're just the same as when I, when I came up. Obviously, the gap was probably talking, you know, previous times so that when he was a player and also manager at Celtic. So for me, they're still at the same level as they were, and you know, we're still going into the game respecting them, but also believing in ourselves. You beat them the last time you played at Ibrox. You had two good draws against Celtic. Came narrowly close to beating them at the weekend. How much confidence do you take from performances and results like those? Massive confidence, you know, because obviously. First time we played them in the league, we weren't too sure where we were or where they were, and obviously to beat them on the on the home turf was a was a massive lift for everybody. And like you said, we've gone to you know Parkhead and, and, and played Celtic, and then played them at home on Sunday, and you know taken two points from that. So if you said that to us at the start of the season, we'd have probably been you know biting your hand off for it. So I know we take confidence definitely into it, but we also have to keep ourselves on the ground and, and keep working hard. They've had good results. Of late, there are three wins in a row, two two wins against Aberdeen back to back. So they've been doing well on the pitch, but off the pitch, there's been a lot of turmoil at Rangers. Um, they've never been out of the papers and off the TV and radio with their search for a manager. Derek McInnes declined to take over them. Is that something that you guys talk about much in the dressing room? No, not really. To be honest, we don't really discuss much football, believe it or not, in, in the dressing room. We just, you know, we come and speak about other things, probably more standards and Coronation Street rather than football. So. That's the sort of dressing room we have, and we wouldn't get ourselves involved with what's going, you know, on at another club, you know, off the pitch. So it doesn't not something that we bring up. If you well, you're three points off second at the moment. Do you think? Do you expect to be um, a strong contender to, to finish second at the end of the season, or is that maybe a bit much to ask in your first season back? I think it's a bit much to ask, uh, you know, to be saying, you know, we are going to finish second or we expect to finish second. I think first and foremost, we want to be in the top six. I think that within itself would be an achievement for a team that's just come into the Premier League. You know, after we do get to the top six, then you know we, we'll win as many games as we can and you know see how high we can finish. But that's not me playing it down. That's just me being a realist and you know realizing that we have come into this league. We, you know, we are a team that's still you know progressing and, and, and getting better each week. So you know, let's see let's see how well we can finish in the league. Rangers might not pose the same sort of challenge, uh, threat as, as Celtic do. I know you get a draw against them, but. Neil was saying there, Celtic had a lot of the ball in that game, that might not be the case with Rangers um, tomorrow night. Kind of similar to what Hope was saying there. Are they a team that, it's fair to say, you, you don't fear at all? Maybe against Celtic, you're aware of their long unbeaten run, they're top of the league for a reason, there is a bit of a gap between them, but would you put yourself on a kind of equal footing with, with Rangers and Aberdeen and clubs like that? Uh, we, we fear Celtic, I mean everybody in, in, in the country fears Celtic, because they are the best team, you know, there's no two ways about it. They've got the biggest budget and they've got the best players, so they are the best team and we have to play slightly differently against them as than we will against Rangers. So going into the game, you know, we do see ourselves on a level playing field with Rangers and you know we hope to go you know, go into the game and, and get the three points. But yeah, like you said, Selica by themselves and then you know it's the rest of us after that and you know it's almost like a mini league really. Mm -hmm.